What's up guys? So if you tuned into my channel yesterday, you knew that I am doing two new release first impressions. Yesterday I did one of Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. If you didn't catch that, it'll be up there. I told you it's not worth a full bottle price, especially at the Parfum price that they're charging of $104 for the 50 milliliter and like 140 for the 100 milliliter. I don't think it's worth it because it's just a basic, it's like a more ambery version of the original uh, with a little bit of woods. Other than that, it's not really, really anything special. Uh, this fragrance that I'm reviewing today is actually really good, but for the price, would I pay it? I would if there wasn't a certain stipulation to it. So it's Jimmy Choo Man Aqua is what I'm going to be reviewing today. And I'll tell you why you should not be picking up a full bottle, at least not yet. So without further ado, let's get it. What's up, my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude, back with another first impression of a new release, just like I did yesterday of Burberry Hero. Today, I'm going to be reviewing or doing my first impressions of Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. It is an eau de toilette. Uh, this fragrance was released a few weeks ago, and honestly, is it worth a pickup? I definitely think so. Is it worth a pickup right now? No, and I will tell you why. Before I do, always do the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Let me know below if you've tried this out, what you think of it, if you think it's worth a pickup at full retail. Um, outside of that, I'm gonna get straight into it here. It's advertised as an aromatic marine fragrance, and some of the main notes that you find in it are cardamom, grapefruit, seawater, clary sage, patchouli, and moss. So, honestly, the fragrance is really good. Uh, my Alta girl gave me a decant just like she did for the Burberry Hero. She always does anytime I ask, and she's the manager there, so she lets me take them. I always tell her what my reasoning is behind it, and I've built quite a relationship with them. So uh, I have it on my arm here, uh, but I already know how it smells. It is now the hour four mark since I put it on, and it is still slightly on my arm at this point in time, but it's pretty much dissipated at this point in time. So if you want to go based on what the performance is, I'll get that out of the way now, just based on what I can smell. The projection is moderate across the board, um, but as far as the longevity is concerned, it's somewhere in between Jimmy Choo Man Ice and Jimmy Choo Man. Jimmy Choo Man Ice was about two to three hours, while Jimmy Choo Man was about four to five hours. I would say somewhere in the middle there, about four hours. Um, doesn't seem like anything crazy. I don't really care about longevity as long as you get a decent amount out of it but the thing is there's a lot of redundancies in this fragrance and so if you're not somebody who likes to have a collection full of redundant fragrances that smell very similar to each other there are other fragrances out there that smell just like this that last longer yes um, but this is kind of a mixture of a mul multitude of fragrances the best way i can describe it is it smells very similar to ysl y eau de parfum or eau de toilette mixed with um, it's more of the Eau de Toilette, like YSL, Y Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum mixed with Mont Blanc Legend uh, Spirit. So if you put that watery fruitiness that you get in Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, more of the watery portion of it, and you mix that together with that sweet freshness that you get from the Y line, it's really going to make what you get in this fragrance. So right when you spray it on, you get some of that grapefruit, you get that clary sage, and you get those C notes. You also get a little bit of this fresh spiciness from the cardamom. That clary sage is really what gives you that reminiscent of the YSL Y line, and then those C notes or those watery notes are what you get in any kind of fruity aquatic. Uh, that grapefruit, again, is gonna mix with those C notes, make it feel like that, so, uh, is it a good fragrance? Yes. Is it going to be one that is going to be great for the spring and summer? Absolutely. It's going to be more of a daytime fragrance. And when you get to the dry down, it doesn't change that much. You get a little bit of earthiness from the patchouli. I don't really get much of the moss in there that it says. Um, there might be a little bit of a background mossiness, but you know, that's pretty much it. It's a little bit aromatic in the dry down, but from the opening to the closing, the only thing that really changes is that grapefruit really dissipates. Uh, that clary sage is one of the main focal points. That C notes are one of the main focal points. They mix together, but again, the fragrance doesn't last too long. It only projects for about an hour and a half to two hours. And again, it only lasts about four hours based on what I feel on my skin. Again, I can barely smell it at this point in time. But so Jimmy Chuman Aqua on in, in 
totality is a good fragrance. It's not worth the price tag that they have. I believe it was $80 or $78 for the 50 milliliter, and it was $96 for the 100 milliliter. Um, if you have money to spend, go ahead, try it out, buy it. Again, if you don't like redundancies, it's not going to be for you. Um, it smells very similar to other designer releases that are out there right now, and even some of the designer-esque niche fragrances that are out there right now. For the most part, it's gonna fit right in there nicely with the fruity, spicy aquatics that are out there. Um, it's gonna have that sweetness of the YSLY, again, the Mont Blanc Legend or anything like that, uh, Legend Spirit. Uh, other than that, there's really not much else to say. If, if I'm just going to keep talking, it's just going to confuse you guys. It's just a very basic fragrance. It's going to be nice to take to the gym, to the pool, outside the garden, going for walks, easy random pool. Uh, I, I would actually rather go with Legend Spirit or YSLY, but is this a good fragrance? Yeah, I'll probably buy it, but wait. Jimmy Choo's always discount. And they discount more heavily than almost Lacoste, even more than Lacoste. Jimmy Choo Man Ice right now is $26, just to put it that way. And it's a discontinued part of the line. Um, you're going to find any of the Jimmy Choo's between $25 and $35. In probably three to four months, you'll find this one there as well. So why spend the extra $60 bucks, uh, when you can get the 100 milliliters for little to no money? So, I mean, I'm not only saying little to no money because based on what I'm usually buying, $30 is nothing. Um, but with that said, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know what you think about it. For the most part, for me, it's good. It's per it's actually really good, but it's just too similar to other fragrances out there to say it's anything unique, that it's anything that's just mind blowing, but it's really good. If you like those type of fragrances, the, the fruity aquatics, the sp fresh spiciness, the YSLY, the invigorating freshness clean that's what you're going to get from this you're going to get a clean fresh fruity aquatic with a little bit of uh, spicy in there that's pretty much what this fragrance is all about i hopefully you guys feel the same way um, it could be my covid's kicking in and i can't uh smell as well but my wife said that she got something similar from it so thank you guys very much for tuning in like comment subscribe let me know what you think about it and i'll be back with another one peace out